We have an author session with Indu Balachandran and uh, Avyan. Now we're going to present Indu Balachandran, the author of My Grandmother Can't Cook. So this author is known for her humor-filled books and the book she's going to be presenting right now is a hilarious story about an eccentric grandmother who, despite her kitchen disasters, plans a chaotic but heartwarming annual uh, birthday party for her grandson, which proves that family fun doesn't always need perfect cooking. So guys, put your hands together for Indu, ba Indu Balachandra. It seems like an interesting topic because most grandmothers can cook. So finding one that can't cook, hmm. Hello, everybody. My name is Indu Pati. Okay. Now, anybody here speaks Tamil? You speak Tamil? Okay, what is Pati? Grandmother. Now, I'm sure all of you have different names for grandmother, right? Yeah? So, any of you tell me what you say for grandmother in your language? What do you say? Aya. 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 Okay, you, what do you say? Uh, grandmama. Anybody says Ajji here? Yes. Uh, who says Ajji? You speak Kannada, right? Okay. What do you speak Marathi? Do you know even in Marathi they say Ajji? Did you know that? Okay, who else speak? Okay, tell me any other name. Dadi. Okay. Dadi Mama. Okay. Anybody with the, who says Achamma for your grandmother or Nana, Nani? Okay. So, I'm going to tell you something you never knew before. There are, you know, in India, 29 names for grandmothers. 29 names. Can anyone guess why there are so many names for grandmother? Why? Because? Absolutely. And there are so many states, right? So many states in India. And everybody says a different name for grandmother. Okay? There's Aita. There is names you've never heard before. And in this wonderful book, okay? In this book, you're going to learn so many things. Okay, first of all, tell me what do what do grand why do we love grandmothers? For two reasons. One, why? Because they they cook great food, right? And the other reason is they say great stories. That's yeah. And all of us love stories. Now tell me one word that rhymes with the word book. Okay, like boy rhymes with toy. Cook? Any more? Look. Took? Yeah? Okay, look at this book about a cook. Okay? And now all grandmothers all over the world make great food. So all of us, let's all clap now. All of you clap for grandmothers. Clap loudly. Why? Because they... They cook up stories and they cook great food, right? Okay, now we are going to see the story of one grandmother in the whole world. One grandmother who cannot cook, okay? And she's such a funny party and we are all going to discover what happens to her. So let me sit down now and continue my story. My grandmother can't cook. And at the end of the story, you all will realize who this grandmother is. She may be in this room, right? Okay? You already guessed? Don't tell anyone. Don't. No, don't tell anyone. Okay? Okay. Now, this is a story. This is a story. And I'm going to show you. I'll read only part of the story. And the rest of the story, you have to go home and read. Okay? So, I'm going to show you the story of... Who's that? That's a little boy called Neil. Okay. Anybody's name Neil over here in this room? Your friend's name is Neil. Really? Oh my God. Does he like food? Does he like food? My, I'm the party. My grandson's name is Neil. Okay. Go and sit down there, sweetie. I don't tell anybody that. Okay. 
so why is neil looking out of the out of his window out of his apartment it's called little india and i'm going to read from here but you go home and read the rest of the story so neil is saying grandmothers are such great cooks and he's licking his lips because whenever a grandmother comes visiting to his building it's great news for him because he can go and eat in all their houses do all of you do that do you like to eat food in other people's houses it's always so delicious right because you get to eat lots of other varieties of food so his friend called chetan now i you have to guess what neel went to eat there this is chetan's dadi from and can you make out what this yellow spongy thing is dokla oh my god how did you know that you have eaten doklas inaya you have eaten doklas when your mother makes or you said in a restaurant okay inaya loves doklas okay so that's right and which city does it come from which state any gujaratis here there there's a gujarati boy okay now the next one ah any malayalis here how did you guess already you had it for sadhya huh okay they do yeah but they don't make it for sadhya but you eat in appam and stew right so here me loves eating appam and stew okay so this is from which state in india yeah and then here's the next food okay this is from calcutta anybody who speaks bengali or went to calcutta okay i'll tell the second word potol what's the first word it starts with a anybody guess what takuma make here alu alu potol you're very good what's your name who oh, very good are you do you speak bengali at all neel my, my grandson also speaks a bit of bengali okay so alu potol from calcutta right absolutely right and then even in bangalore okay who said ajji who who's ajji you say you speak kannada at home so what is the best kannada food b b b i'll give you a hint pisi bela bath oh it's tastier than sambar rice right oh i love it i always overeat when i eat pisi bela bath so this is what neel does he keeps going from one house to another and i'm not going to tell you many other places yes and now we come to neel's funny grandmother oh my god look at her can you see what she's she's got a dosa in her hand oh my god what has she done to the dosa burnt it okay so she's burnt it to cinders so you know what you know party is very clever whenever she burns a dish she changes the name okay it's not a dosa because it's burnt to cinders she called it cinderella pancake and you know who laughed the most can you see neel laughing here am i blocking yeah neel is laughing because he says my party is so funny so she's also good at cooking up what excuses she cooks up wild story she cooks up new names she's a really a clever little party okay when she makes scrambled eggs she trying to make an omelet but you cannot turn the omelet she'll say ah it's scrambled eggs okay sometimes your mother also think does that right and then if she makes a cake which collapsed and all the uh, all the uh, chocolate came out she'll say it's gooey chocolate pudding so she'll just change the name of the dish okay instead of calling it what it was so that's how clever it was and so the story goes on and neel his you know it is the 28th of september oh my god is it today 28th of september it is okay in the book it's the 28th of september hi rivan and rihan 28th and his birthday is coming up in october so all the children say hey neel you come and eat in all our houses you eat up all our food now your party is in town we are coming to your house for your birthday party and neel yeah hi <laughs> come sit down so neel is you know neel gets very worried why why my grandmother can't cook so he tells his best friend arup 
please forget to come to my birthday party because you know my grandmother can't cook and I'm going to tell everybody to forget. And then they, they say, don't be silly, Neil. Every grandmother in the world can cook. No, you don't know my party. She burns stuff. Oh, don't come, don't come. So it goes on like that. And it is his day of his birth. Uh, oh, and then he goes to party and he says, party, what are you going to make? And on that day, party is making what? She's making chapatis. Now, do you know what a chapati? The, you know the shape, right? What is the shape of a chapati? I'm going to show you. All of you sit down, sit down, sit down. Otherwise, people won't see. Ed, you'll go back. I'll come. <laughs> you'll just go to the back. I'm going to show you. What is this chapati shape? Anyone know countries of the world? Which country is this? Uh, who said Australia? Oh, you're good in geography, right? What's your name? You're very good in geography. So you know what Patti said? Oh, I was trying to teach you geography, Neil. Clever, right? Okay. And so this is, look what she made another day. Which country is this? It's near India. Who said Sri Lanka? Oh, you're very good at geography also. All of you are very good. So, party made. Now, all of you know this one. Yeah. Okay. Now, all of you go back a bit because the people at the back can't see, right? Okay. So, this is what party says. She is so cunning. She is so clever. And she said, look, Neil. I made Australia for you today. She would exclaim with great pride. Okay? Very cunning, right? Very cunning. And when Amma came inside and said, Oh no, Amma, what are you making? And she'll say, No, no, this is a geography lesson. This is not a cooking lesson. <laughs> okay? So this went on. And it was his day of his birthday. And all the people, all his friends were going to come home that evening. And he said, I hope everybody forgets to come. And can you read that? What if party all the food? What? He's looking worried, right? So when he came home, he sees party dancing away. And then he sniffed the air. No, no, nothing is burnt. Oh, maybe Amma made all the food. Amma said, no, nah, no, nah, I'm going out for a movie. Party's in charge of the food, the games, everything. And Amma also pushed off. And so Neil said, oh my God, suddenly, party said, Neil, go and get dressed because your friends will be here any minute. And what happened? Oh, all the friends turned up. Can you read that line? Nobody had forgotten to come. Nobody had forgotten to come. And is Neil looking happy? Even though everybody brought presents, Neil is not looking happy. He's looking very worried. He's thinking, oh my God, what's going to do? So anyway, all the children came and then party, she started all her jokes because she's very good at cooking up what? Stories, riddles, funny, she'll do anything to make a child laugh. So shall I tell you some of the funny stories? I'll tell you one or two. You must go home and read the rest. So she said this, if you gave a cow red strawberries to eat, okay, and then you start milking the cow, what will you get? Strawberry milkshake. Okay. <laughs> and then she say, also said, can donkeys sing? No. So he said, what if a donkey ate a lot of music books? Okay. And then it will start singing beautifully. Okay. And so she has many funny jokes and everybody kept laughing. Can you see how the children are laughing here? They're, like, oh, laughing their lives out. they're laughing their guts out. And they're saying, now what did all the laughing happen? Ah, really? They became motte. Okay. So what happens is, after everybody laughed and laughed, what happens when they laughed so much in their stomach? They got stomach. hungry. They got hungry. And, and they said, oh, now will party, what will party give? Oh, it's a Tamil household. Maybe she'll give idli dosa, they thought. Okay. And they said, what is your party going to give us? And Neil, oh my God. What happens next? And I'll tell you what, I'll give you a little hint. And I wonder if any of, there are many more funny stories. What did, what, the bell rang. How, did you read my book? You read my book. <laughs> okay. 
Now, you will read the funny story what happened in all the party, and then in the end, the bell rang. Who was at the door? Have you ever ordered from Swiggy? Yeah. yeah. Huh? Okay. Anyway, do you, how many of you like to eat pizzas actually? I think the whole world over here, apart from all parties' food. Party is a clever party. She ordered from Swiggy and everybody ate pizzas, okay? And after that party continued, she had a lot of pizza riddles, which you will read in the book. And that evening, Neil went to sleep with a big smile on his face. Why? Because this is what he said. I'm going to read here. So that night, Neil went to bed smiling. So what if my grandmother can't cook, he thought. No one cooks up stories like my grandmother. Okay? Shall we clap for this crazy old party now? And the party is crazy. No. Yes. Don't tell anyone. Okay, all of you go sit down now. All of you go sit down. You are the party. Huh? You are the party. I am the party? How yeah. did you know? <laughs> okay. Now you all go sit down and I'm going to play a little game. I won't. Don't tell anyone. Okay? Now, all of you go sit down. We're going to play a little game. Yeah, because we're wearing an apron? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to come with you, after you with a karandi. All of you sit, 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 sit. Go, 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 go. Sit, 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 sit. <laughs> Everybody go sit. Okay. Now, now this, by now you know that this party cannot cook. But I want you to help her, okay? So what are we going to do now? All of you sit right down. Otherwise we won't play this game at all. Sit right there, okay? Okay. You keep it, you keep it with you. You have to draw something in it. Now, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. You can draw later, okay? Now, this party cannot cook, but she loves to go to shop. Yeah, you go sit down and your turn will come, okay? Now, you have to make, help party cook. Give us some ideas, okay? How many of you like food and cooking? That's okay, sit down. You like cooking? Very good. Okay. Okay. Now, I want anyone's name starting with the letter P. P, anybody's name? What's your name? Anybody P? Yeah, let it be. Maya. Maya. Okay. Anybody's name? Huh? What's your name? Pragya. Pragya, come. Come. Pragya? Okay. All of you sit down. Go a little back. Pragya, do you like to cook? Okay, I'm going to put a chef's cap for Pragya. Okay? Oh, no, it's not fitting. Wait. Yeah. It's crowd control. Yeah. Pragya is a world-famous cook now. Now, close your eyes and pick anything from this basket. I'll put this for you. No, no looking. Okay, now tell me. Now, Pragya has picked up a carrot. And is that her mother taking a photograph? Okay. Now tell me one terrific dish your mother makes with carrot, or your grandmother, or you yourself. Carrot? Sandwich? Wow. Carrot sandwich? You like healthy food, eh? Okay. How about one sweet? Anybody know a sweet? Gajar. We all love gajar. You know, my sister there, Banu, she's a grandmother that cooks. She's the best gajar halwa maker in the whole world, okay? Yeah, correct. Okay, anyone name start? Okay, thank you, Pragya. Anyone name with N? N, come. Okay, you pick up some. You also come, my darling. Come, what's your name? Nitara. Okay. Pick up any vegetable and say any wood dish that you can cook with it. Come. All the people with N. Pick up any anything. Close your eyes and pick. Pick. What is this? What can you make with it? Lemon juice. She has to say. Shh. 
You have to say. Lemon juice. Le lemon, anything else? Lemon rasam. Have you ever had? Okay. Lemon cake. Lemon cake. Lemon cake. Very lemon good. Rice. Lemon, lemon rice. Lemon rice. Canada girl. Oh, that's lemon right. Rice. Hmm? You also Tamil girl, lemon, huh? Lemon rice. Best, no? Lemon soup. Nothing lemon better than biryani, no? no. Lemon rice be there better. Lemon okay. Rice. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you sorry, my dear. Oh, so I'm so sorry. Sorry, did I hurt your head? Okay, come. Come. Okay, anyone name? Oh, you also N? Yes. Come. Oh, okay. Pick up any vegetable. Oh, look what he's... Oh, he's picked up what? Cheese. What can you make with cheese? Ah. Cheese sandwich. Anything you can make with cheese. Pizza. Margarita pizza. What's your favorite pizza? Huh? Very good. Green cheese. You like green cheese? I hate green cheese. Okay. Okay. No, I hate it. Okay. Next, come. Okay. Anyone name starting with M? M. M. Come, come, come. What's your name? Maya. Maya, of course. Come, Maya. From there only you pick up anything. Okay, fine. Pick up anything from here. Thank you for reminding me. Onion. What can you make with onion? Huh? Onion sambar. Again. Ah, the South Indians are ruling them. Tell me something from the north. Salad. Salad. You always put onion in salad, right? Okay. Onion chutney. Yeah? Onion, onion pakoda. Curd. Onion curd. Onion curd. Okay. Onion raita. Raita, right? You can put onions in every kind of dish. Okay? Okay. Now I will pick up because there's no more time. I will pick up things and I will just show you. What can you make with cabbage? Salad. Yes. Salad. What can you? Okay, now there's only one answer I want for this. What can you make with bangan? Bangan? Who said bangan bata? My favorite dish. Is it your favorite? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, back. all of you go a little back. Yeah. If you're listening to us, just take one step back. One step back, everyone. Yeah, everybody one step back, okay? Yeah. That's okay. So, this... Come, okay. Now we'll have just two or three more. Anyone name starting with S? S. Okay, all the S. Come, come. Pick up anything and quickly say, quickly. Pick up anything. Not this cabbage, we already finished. Pick up anything you want. Onion, I No, no. Something else. Pick it up fast. Finish this. Okay, we'll keep this. What is this? Tomato. What can you make? Huh? Rasam. You like rasam? Yeah. South Indian? <laughs> okay. Okay. What can you make with... Yeah, you take. You're, are you with S? Yeah. What's your name? Shreti. Okay. What can you make with this, Shreti? Curry. 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 Yeah? Alu, alu gobi. And there's one Cauliflower. more thing you can make. Alu. Cauliflower M. Manchu. Manchurian. Yeah, Gobi Manchurian. Okay? Can so, I know? Yeah, you can. You can pick up anything very fast. Can I pick up? Yeah, what is this? Alu. 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 Million things to make. French fries. Yeah. Okay. French fries. So, okay. Yeah, you're next. Pick up. Pick up anything. Alu paratha. Yes. All of you. Yeah. Hold it up. What is this? Apple. Okay. Miss so many apple tarts. Don't say apple juice. So boring. Say something else. Apple tart. Okay. Apple crumble. Apple crumble. Come. You know he said my favorite dish. Apple crumble. Oh, clever. Apple juice. Apple pie. Apple pie. Okay. 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 Thank you. All of you go sit down now. Okay.
Okay, come. Okay, you, you're the last one. Can I pick one? You can. Quickly. Both of you take one. Fast, 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 fast. It is a zucchini. Yeah. They, oh, quickly say your dish and go and sit down. It is a zucchini. Cap, capsicum. Somebody took. What can you make with capsicum? I choose a capsicum. Okay. Uh, uh, it's a beetroot, beetroot, right? Yeah. Okay. What, what can you do with beetroot? You can make beetroot curry, right? Yeah, beetroot juice. Okay? Okay. Okay. What, Rehan? Come. See? He's an expert here. Going to be a cook, I think. Okay? Thank you. Yeah, you keep it, you keep it with you. Okay? Now, we're going to play. Okay, okay. done. Yeah, correct. Okay, put it back here. Now, we're going to play. Now, all the parents, you can help your children. We're going to have a little quiz on the foods of India. Okay, first of all, who makes the best food? Who has the greatest variety of food in the whole world? Grandma. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Now, all of India loves masala dosa, right? You like ma You keep it here, darling. Keep it here. Very good. Go sit down. Okay, go sit with your parents because they might help you with the answers. Okay? Who makes the best masala dosa? Is it in Manipur? Is it? Now, you know, Chennai thinks we are the best. But Bangalore says no, we are the best. Okay? Bangalore is better? Who thinks Bangalore is better? I think so. Even though I'm from Chennai, right? Don't tell all my cousins in Chennai, don't tell my perimas and my parties and my attas that I said this. But Bangalore makes better masala I dosa. Tell, I tell you later. No, don't tell. Don't tell. Please don't. Shh, don't tell. Your mother's from Chennai. I'm from Chennai. I know. I spoke to her. Okay? So. Sorry. I think Chennai and Bangalore. See how diplomatic I am? I put both. Okay. My grand grand mom is from Chennai. Grand grand mom. Okay. Okay. Who okay, did you know Aita? Momos. Sorry. Momos. Do they make momos or pani puri? Where, okay, where is pani puri momos. from? Momos. 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 Pani puri. <laughs> no, wrong. Wrong answer. Okay. Okay. Now let's see who makes the best. Okay, this hundreds of answers. Do you all agree? No. I think all of all of India thinks no. My state makes better biryani. Okay, everywhere, and each state thinks no. Oh, we make the best biryani. But let's give the prize to. Yeah. Okay. Now, have you? Ever, can you read this? Read. Read that. Huh? Punjab. Yeah, I think we'll give it to the Punjabis, right? Yeah? Any Punjabis here? Okay. Go sit down, all of you. Go sit with your parents now. Punjab. Okay? Now, tell me this. I can see my Malayali friends already sitting there. Eliyama, Madhuri, her granddaughter Laila, all of them are saying, we know who makes the best thing in Kerala, but it is not Assam. Okay, what is it? Momos. Yeah, okay. Okay, so, okay, what does Kerala make best? Appamishtu. Absolutely. And tell me more. Assam. Any others? Momos. Yeah, okay. Okay, randomly let's ask. What is Maharashtra famous for? Any of you know? Because my friend Pratiba is sitting there and she makes the best Shrikand in the world. Any other dish? Got it? Huh? You speak Marathi? Actually, the best cooker is chef. Is it? Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, so that brings us to the end of this quiz. Sorry. Okay. Let's all clap for all of us, for all the grandmothers and
Please clap for that one grandmother who can't cook. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Now all of you have a quiz. Please take it home, and you will find out 29 names for grandmothers, 29 best dishes of India, and um, you know why I'm giving you all this? Because you can show off in school. I was a big show off in school. I used to learn that all kinds of things that others didn't know and pretend that, oh, I'm cleverer than you. So I want all of you to read these pamphlets and show off, okay? I don't want to Okay, shall we all clap for every grandmother and all the great food and our mothers who are going to become grandmothers. See you and happy cooking and happy reading also. Go buy my book. <laughs>